So this video is called the conclusion of the Jaywick Forum meeting, which was held at the Jaywick Resource Centre today on the 27th of February, the year 2019. And I've just sat in that room for over two hours with many, many bodies working out what, how, who, when, and why. And how many times have you been in Jaywick in February when it's over 20 degrees? Well, today is that day. The hottest day in Jaywick ever on record. And we are making more records by working with the Resource Centre and all of the other groups of Jaywick, working with them to improve our Jaywick. Let me read through what I learnt, what I learnt was going on today. This is the Jaywick Sounds Happy Club book and I write everything down to do with Jaywick and the Happy Club. So here we go. This is what I learnt today from the meeting. And I writ one, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. I writ 12 points down from the meeting. I'm going to read them to you now. The first point was the boss of Hemmington. Hemmings Ham, Ham buses will make sure that people not thrown off of buses ask us for feedback. We must work together as we do. So if anyone wants to know anything about the buses, direct message me, Danny Sloggett, and I'll make sure I will get a message through Jill Elkins at the Jowick Forum to the head of the Hemmingham buses. I can do this. Hemmington buses, I can do this. Anyway, point two. The boss of Hemmington buses is going to give us feedback on changes maybe happening around August. But he's going to work with the customers and all of the people here in Jaywick before anything is changed. Number three. The High Street in Clapton-on-Sea returns to normal, normal service with cars and all that sort of stuff and remove some of the bus stops and maybe restore the bus station in Jackson Road. Some sort of plan like that might be happening because they need to get the high street buzzing again. So maybe that's how they do it. Number four, 25% of bus drivers are thinking about a strike. The boss says the buses will run if they do decide to strike and it's only 25% of them for whatever reason and it's not all of them. Okay. Number five, any ideas about bus services, let me know at the Jaywick Sands Abbey Club and I can work directly with the bosses and get some direct answers. Number six, the Jaywick Sands Happy Club is doing lots over five events this year and I meetings each month. The Jaywick Sands Happy Club is working with Five Aside Chess, the workshop in Paris, Artificial Intelligence, and all of the Jaywick groups. We are working together to improve our community. ACE is on the radar. Phones are not being answered on time. Staff lots leave lots of them over the last few years. So ACE is on the radar and we are looking into talk, working with them to get all of these things resolved because we must work together for it to last forever. Okay, the main seafront has holes along it where the drainage of the seawater goes through onto the beach. A lot of them are blocked with sand. So they're talking about unblocking them so the water can run from the seafront onto the beach. But we don't know who's responsible because we don't know who owns the beach, etc., etc. But this is being spoken about and it's a big concern as a Jaywick residents. Okay. If you see people in high visible jackets, they are looking how to fix these problems on Jaywick seafronts with the mountain water, okay? So that's why they're going to be here. 
Okay, 1,000 houses are to be built in Jaywick Lane. So there might be a new road so to gain access to these 1,000 new houses. Do you know as you go up Jaywick Lane and you've got the school on the right? Opposite, there's all them farm fields. They're going to try and build 1,000 houses on all that land and build a road that goes around the back of Jaywick from the village to that part. So that's more access for Jaywick. So, yeah, we waited a long time for that. Jaywick Olympics. Work with Jaywick Sand Schools to give kids and adults joint things to do and make use of Jaywick Beach and keep fit. Right, so that's a great idea, the Jaywick Olympics for Jaywick. And local schools, I need to go and see and tell them about my ideas of the Jaywick Olympics and the Bitcoining and the artificial intelligence and try and get more children involved because this is really good opportunity for them to upgrade and learn about future relations they reckon that in 15 years 40 percent of all jobs will be replaced with artificial intelligence and this is all the things that i've learned from the jaywick forum meeting today So that is what I learned today. I hope you enjoyed my conclusion at the Jaywick Forum, which was at the Resource Centre today. I am here to represent Jaywick and the Jaywick Sands Happy Club. And I have only just started. And I do believe there is so much more we can achieve. So together we stand and divided we fall. Shine on the Jaywick Sands Happy Club. Shine on the Jaywick Forum. And shine on every group in Jaywick that is trying to make a difference. All I can say is shine on. Today is the hottest February day ever in Jaywick. Shine on.